introduce yourself, brother. My name is David Infante, uh, United States Marine veteran. I uh, retired in 2017. Uh, I'm a father. I uh, got, a, got a car club with, with a good friend of mine, Jaime Soto, called Simplify Familia. And uh, I'm also part of another organization called Chicano Boulevard. And I'm just happy to be here, the first guest at JC's little setup. And it wasn't technical difficulty. Difficulties, it was lack of preparation. He waited to the day of to start plugging stuff in and seeing if it worked. So, Come on, man. man. Yeah, you you, you, you <laughs> going to put him in a spot like that, man? I already know the you blows see? are coming, so let me go ahead and start with the little jab. <laughs> so, man, David should have been here three weeks ago. But uh, things happen. Uh, lack of motivation. But since you're here, bro, we know how Marines are. The only way that I work is with a little motivation. So before we even start, I'm gonna try to give you some of that to see if you can actually do. Sure, sure. You know what? I might help you open up, bro. Okay. Uh, sure this might give you. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't give you PTSD, but uh, might be good for you. Okay. What we got there? Hey. What is this? Hey, hey, Mike, Mike. What we got here? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. All right, well... We all know what motivation for Marines is, man. Yeah, so it's a wrap now. I think I'm good. We don't need to talk about anything. <laughs> I, I, should, my, I should have waited until the end, huh? I got my crayons. <laughs> so now I'm going to be distracted. <laughs> the urge the, the, the urge to just start chewing on these things. Uh, nah, look. So, nah, appreciate you, you, that. Your master sergeant already, bro. Tactical you, crayons. <laughs> you, you can't be doing that no more. You good. Uh, First and foremost, thank you for everybody watching, man. Um... I hope y'all can help me grow this channel. Oh, by the way, he hooked me up with a Team Map t-shirt, man. Uh, he's going to talk about this in a little bit. But talking about t-shirts, man, we got our first sponsor, man. Um, I told you what I want to do. I want to give you some cups, everybody that comes over here. Uh, we might put some for sales. But people that are coming to the channel, I want to do something special. You're going to be the dude. You're right here, so you're the first one to listen to this, man. Um, last night I was talking to, uh, my friend, uh, I believe he got out as a specialist, the specialist that we know, uh, he's the owner of, uh, Bentecho Collective, and, uh, we were talking about doing something for veterans, man, so he's like, look, I want to sponsor your channel, but I don't know what to do, um, he's like, what can we do to make something special for you, um, one of the things that I asked you before you came over here is to send me 10 pictures. And pictures that meant something to you, right? I know two of them. I know the story behind them because you told me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so what uh, we came out with is um, he's going to donate um, half of a t-shirt. So for $15, it will let you do whatever picture you want and put it on, on a t-shirt okay, cool. for you. Yeah. So it's like everybody that came come here comes to, this, uh, to the channel. Uh, on my side, I'm gonna give you a cup, but um, this one you're gonna you don't know what they're gonna have too. You can take this one back, oh, but yeah, wait, we're gonna give you another one. Uh, I want to customize every cup for uh, whoever comes to the channel, man. If we put some for sale, you know, I don't want I want to make them special, so uh, I'm swinging for the fences right now. So I invested on a laser engraving machine, so hopefully, we can do like a little master sergeant, you know, infante. Mm -hmm. on the back that way we can make a special for you and it's not gonna be like every other cup you know what i'm saying like right. yeah some, something special mm -hmm. bro there you go so uh again uh homeboy being teacher collective uh he's gonna be t-shirt for 15 dollars. the reason why 15 dollars is you're trying to get paid for the uh material but everything else yeah. you know it's usually a 35 dollar shirt right so he's like look um when we came out is i'm gonna donate the t-shirts i'm gonna buy the t-shirts I'm gonna send him to him and he's gonna print him out. So, uh, you know, a little bit of extra. That's if you wanna get it. You know, a $15 t shirt with a special picture of you. Yeah. So, what we're trying to do is like, tell him, look, I wanna do a uh, military top logo in the front, a small pocket size, and then a big picture in the back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's right there for you. Yeah. And uh, for everybody else that's been here, uh, it's gonna be right there too. I'm gonna put more info uh, once I get with him. But, uh, Go ahead, bro. So you're going to drink straight up or what? Are you no, yeah, I'll drink straight. No, no ice, no rocks. No, 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 no. Come away. We good right there. There we go. Let's 
see. JC wants to say I was should have been here three weeks ago and all this, but if I would have been here three weeks ago, I wouldn't have got the shirt and I wouldn't have got the mug. So I think my the time is right on time. So, so I don't it think was a you, it would yeah. be time to go right, about it. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. It was just strategic. <laughs> you, you, was strategic. You, you knew was something a, was coming. Yeah, so. yeah. So I was just let me hold off a little bit, and then uh, the time is right. I'm always on time, even when I'm late. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now, but uh, uh, let me give you a little background of how I met David, man, before we get uh, the floor to David. Uh, Master Sergeant Infante. That's something I just found out recently when I talked to you. Uh, I met David through uh, through the cars, man. And uh, we had never talked about your military career. No. This is going to be the first time. Yeah. So, uh, first and foremost, bro, appreciate you for coming over. My pleasure. Uh, you know, some of your time. Appreciate you for hooking me up. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I, I was yeah. telling him the other day, man, I love that uh, the design. Yeah. So I finally got, he got, he had Murano sizes, so. Yeah, Murano sizes, yeah. You got the last <laughs> one. You got the last one. Uh, so, hey, man, uh, let's go where everything started, man. What, what made you join the military? Um, I joined the military because I didn't, I didn't have anything going for me at the time. And, and my future was definitely not looking bright. So it wasn't, uh, there was, it was nothing more than just trying to get out of my situation. You know, when I was a junior in high school, there was this program, I think it was called Hispanic Business Professionals of America. And uh, as a junior, it's a business class and uh, they provide you with an opportunity to go work in uh, different fields of work. And uh, um, working for a law firm was an option. And that's what I jumped on because when I was uh, a little kid, I would spend my summers with my grandfather who's a you know Korean War Army veteran and uh, he was basically overseeing this this property uh, lots of land horses animals chickens peacocks I mean there's a damn caboose in front of the house uh, that they like converted you know what I mean it was just super nice with beds and there was a restroom in there um, you know it was just for for show but it was still a fucking caboose in somebody's front yard right on, on some land nice house a lake We'd go fishing and stuff like that but the owner of that property was a lawyer so when i when i saw all these things i was like maybe i should look into law too and and, and see what's up with with being a lawyer but as a kid i don't know what that was going to involve the school the time you know you got to be smart all the other things that came along with it but uh I, I jumped on that program in high school and i was um i saw it as an opportunity like okay this could be like the stepping stone for something bigger when I get older, if I go to college or whatever. And, uh, you know, I would take the bus from the Metro bus from Southeast Houston to downtown. The law firm was in one of the big buildings downtown. Oh, you grew up in here in Houston? Yeah, yeah, grew up here. So um, I was doing that, getting some, basically getting some OJT on the job training. Just, it was corporate law. So interacting with the lawyers, working with the paralegals and just seeing how they, how they move and the kind of bread that they were making. They're making big bucks. Everything's getting charged. The phone calls, the copies, everything. And I got to see all those things and it kind of intrigued me. Um, but anyway, I ended up getting in trouble that summer, uh, and going to, to Harris County for a couple weeks jail for a couple weeks. It was a serious uh, felony charge that I didn't do anything. So I was able to get dropped or dismissed, but, um, uh, after that, man, I, I didn't have anything going for me. I was working at Home Depot right there on Fairmont. You know what I mean? I was working mm -hmm. at Home Depot to, to, uh, two Marines walk in and dress blues. I see them, stop them. We start talking. I get their information. And then I link up with my recruiter, Sergeant Cushenberry out of the Deer Park office. And then saw him, came, went up to him and said, look, man, you don't have to sell me on nothing. I don't know anything about the Marine Corps or anything like that. It just I just know I want to get out of here. So if you could facilitate that, let's 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 get it rolling. Let's get the process going. So and that's what we did. So, um, you say your grandpa and your dad they were uh, Army infantry. Mm -hmm. Why you decided to go Marine? Just because they walk into the. Yeah, that, yeah, that's probably it. Was the right time, and yeah, like the whole military thing was never an option for me. Uh, you know, growing up a young teenage kid thinking he knows it all. You know, my dad passed when I was six, so I really didn't have that father figure to kind of lay down the law and, and, and check me, you know what I mean? Put me back on track when I was getting out of line. So, I, you know, I thought I knew it all. I thought I had everything figured out. And, um, you know, my mom would toss that out, like, hey, go to the military, go to the military. But I was such a hard head that I'd, you know, I'd brush it off. And I think she felt comfortable 
telling me to go to the military, knowing that I would never do it or thinking that I would never do it. So she would put that on me. But um, I never even thought about it. Like, man, my grandpa was in the army. My dad was in the army. Maybe I should go to the army. Right oh, so it's not because they joined. It's just because he was a way out for you. It was a way out. Yeah, it had nothing to do with that. Yeah. And, and, and then even at that time when I made that decision where I was going to go to the military or join the Marine Corps, I still didn't think back to the fact that my my grandfather my grandfather and my dad were both in, in the in the military and you know even further saying oh well they were in the military they were in the army let me go ahead and follow suit and do the same thing uh a good friend of mine Jaime Soto that guy was already in the delayed entry program I think when he was 16 years old so he already knew he was going you know his dad's a marine first sergeant um so he already knew he was going and then when, I already knew that he had been talking about it, so it kind of made the decision a little bit easier for me because we ended up going to boot camp together. Okay. Yeah, so we went to boot camp together, saw each other in training. Uh, after we graduated, went to Marine combat training together, and then uh, got stationed together in, in, at Camp Pendleton in Oceanside, California. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, so. So it was good that you got somebody, you yeah. went to boot camp and got to yeah, first stage. Made it easier, yeah, yeah. Yeah.